Hello, welcome to Garden Chronicles. I want to show it to you about Spanish moss. This is how I take care of them. Here you see it's a special sunlight. This is more in the shaded area. You can see. And this is how it gets the sun from this side. So this is how it looks like from this end. Okay, still okay, but it's, bit, but it's high time for it to, to do something about it or else what's going to happen is that the top part is going to dry up and everything is going to move downside and it's going to be like a bunch. So I will show you what I'll do next. Alright, thank you. Alright, if you can see clearly now, I've already brought these things down. See over here. This brown thing over here is actually dead. It's not going to grow back, no matter how much you pour water and all that. You see, this one, anything that is green, yes, they are alive. But over here, can you see? It's a bit like burnt. You can see clearly, okay. So from this portion onwards, it's dead, but this portion is alive. So if you want to remove it, you can cut over your trim and tie up with a trap and you can make a new bunch branches of it. But looking at the circumstance, it's so many and there's so much to do and it will take forever. So you can just forego it and just look for a cluster and just trim off over here and you can tie it up as a new strand and you can just forget about all this. Similarly over here too, see? So this is a new strength, this is a new strength, and this is a new strength. So there's three strengths over here. Alright? Can you see? All this down over here is all gone. Uh, so there's two ways about it. One is I can just brush it off and take out the thing and all that, and trim and redo all over again. Oh, I think that's the best idea. Because we're going to leave it here, this whole thing is going to continue to go all the way down. It's already started actually. So, and what has happened here is this. The support is very thin. This is all there is. So the whole weight of this whole plant is actually supported over here. And so that's why this whole thing is dead. So one way to do is make this bigger, stretch it and tie up one by one. All right, I will show it to you how I do it. Okay, I've already stretched it up, the whole thing. Now notice it, it's, it's all spanned out. Now all this, I can just trim and throw it away. And just work with the last part that is alive, over here. You know, and when I tie, when I cut it from here, I just bring it forward here. So the so the spanning, the spanning of it, where when 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 doing this, you will find a lot of small small pieces will be fallen off. Just collect it and keep it at the side. Okay, this one, if you notice, it's at this corner here, and all the way down and it's heavy. So I'm going to redo this whole thing, and I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay, so I'm going to stretch this whole thing out to make it easy, <coughs> easier to work with so the spreading is important because everything is stuck over here so don't worry about being rough just, just be slightly gentle and spread open up the whole thing see if you can spread it the top to bottom okay see over here all these dry pieces is actually dead so what you can do is dry pieces just trim them off over here and take them out okay this portion you can take it out later you can use this and trim off this portion over here 
So this whole black thing is dead. We can throw them away. And this one, bring it up over here and just spread it. See? So it's even. So is this spread out. You look at it, it's like a strap. Trim it over here and bring it forward. And spread it. <clears throat> Make sure it's all even. Don't have heavy clumps. Alright, don't worry about the pieces that's falls in the bottom. Later you can tie it up with a thread and bring it forward. Alright. Now something certain things gets very complicated. You don't have to do every single piece of it. You can just take a clump. See this whole thing is a clump. You just take it over here and bring it forward. But if you see this is too much for you, then make another curve and fill it up. But as for now, this is almost full. So I, I might might you want to use this for something else, so I'm just keeping it aside for a later future purpose. So is this. See over here? Also. So I'm putting it over here. I may not want to trim it and just put about a, a, just a short portion to hold it and spread it. Okay, something dropped. Okay, so also this, I might want to work on this later, so I'll just keep it aside. Now you're almost done. So if you look at it, just untangle them roughly that your hands can just go through them and then you can just like spread it out make sure the portion that comes down is even so that it won't look so horrible when you're watering it okay let's see okay so this is another portion remove this Okay. And also this portion. I think this is okay. Okay, now now it's spreading because what is happening here is that they are still too heavy at the top. So spread them on evenly. So the bundle is just nice. Okay. If you find it is very complicated, just trim and make it look like as if you can see through them. Like over here is tight. So I'm taking this one off. So it's lesser. I'll use this for another set. So see? Alright, okay. The one that is very long, also trim because it'll be looking, it's going to look very awkward. One or two strands is too long. So look for a clump and trim it and take it. So this is taken. So this is perfect. What is it? Okay, I can, I can add more here because there's a space here. Or I can spread it out. I think the spreading makes a better difference. So over here, you see, it's, it's quite dry. So, but the thing is, is, also there's a lot of small clumps over there. So, don't worry about that. Just see that it's evenly distributed. And yeah, I think that's almost done. This last one. <clears throat> Try not to pinch it with your fingers. Rather use the scissors and you can easily have a clean cut and just roll it over. Okay, so you're almost done. Can you see it? Okay, 
So this is how it's supposed to be compared to this. Here you see, this is how it was in the beginning. It's a tight thing. So if this has been opened up, it will appear to be like this. All right, thank you. All right, I have actually finished sorting out all of them. If you can see them, I have equally have arranged them in this portion and they are very well spent. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to soak them in the water just to show you how I, how I do it. Okay. They will, they will do better if it's If you can see, it'd be great if you can put all of them together, but if you don't have space, then you can do portion by portion. Right. All right. Okay, the thing here is this. All right, I have soaked them in the water. Uh, just make sure that they they remain here about 30 minutes to an hour and you can dry them off or at least the max you can have it about an hour or two do not put them overnight in water it can cause them to rot and the whole thing is defeats its purpose the other thing you can do is that you can actually put in the uh, appliant uh, fertilizer in it but in of a very low dosage just just for them to drink it up but if you don't want to it's okay uh, and uh, make sure that once they are have finished soaking they are fully dried up because that is more important all right hi this is a complete work what has been done just want to show it to you how i actually arranged it you can see that it is actually very much cleared and spanned out. This is where it which is faces the sun. And it's much more neater now. So when I when I spray water on them, they actually get more more water. This is the other side of it. This is how it is. Okay, the sun is over here so Okay. This is a closer look. You can notice the dry ones, it's still there. I, I can't really 100% take them all out. Yeah, but it's it's fine. You just remove the worst case scenarios. Okay. The other thing is this: I actually put under underneath a water body, so that there is always a humidity. If you, if you can, always put it somewhere near water. <laughs> Like this one over here, this is another set of airplanes, but they're actually under under water body. All right. Hope you get to see how I do it. Feels much more clearer now. Okay, I just layered it side by side, but they're not thickly layered, so they have to be a thin. Just a slightly like a thin couplet card. Not too thick, but just spend that enough for the water just to cascade through when it's watered. Alright, thank you.
As you can see, the water is cascading gracefully. This is the way it should be actually. It should be arranged this way. This is the way that you will know that everything is correctly arranged. Not very clear here, but can you see how the water is cascading? It's traveling like waterfalls. This is the way it should go. This is very important. But this is action. It shows that how it, it, the whole thing gets wet optimally without any damage. You see it? It's like raindrops. At least the water should continue to get wet like this for 10 seconds. And every part of it should be wet. As you can see, the water collects at the tip of the bee. Let me show this way. Yeah. You look at it, water collects at the tip of the leaf and then it drops. Sort of like bees. You see, this is the correct way of watering. So the next watering, you should only water when it's totally dry. If not, the whole thing will start to rot. So do not water it until it's fully dry. You will notice it when the, the leaves are very much silver and shiny. And currently it's actually very green. That's it. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. See? It is still dripping. Okay, I, I hope you have clarified how I do it. If any questions please feel free to comment below on how, how I do this. Thank you.